Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up VBA editor themes so we can have different color themes in our VBA editor. And you can save those themes in a table and use a form with a little bit of VBA to switch between them. Ooh, ah. Okay, so last week I released a video called VBA Editor Colors, where I show you how to go into the VBA Editor and adjust the color settings. Me personally, when I'm working, I like a dark background. I think it's easier to see. All right, I think this guy is a lot easier on the eyes to work with, especially me. I got very poor eyesight, All right? Whereas the default setting is like this. Now, the comments that I got were everything from, oh, wow, that's super cool. I'm going to do that to... Please don't do that. It's very difficult to see in your videos, which after some further thought, I kind of agree. This is, it's easier on the eyes as a programmer, but I think it's, it is actually harder to read in my videos. This comes across in the videos a lot easier. So I'm thinking to myself, well, self, there's got to be a way to switch between these. Now, there's nothing in the VBA editor itself that allows you to easily and quickly switch between these things. And of course, a few people even mention it in comments on my forums and on my YouTube channel. They said, well, I think those, those settings are saved in the registry, right? Oh yeah, guess what? They are. So with a little bit of VBA code, we can read those settings out of the registry and then write them back. And we can create a table and a little form and save multiple profiles, make the settings changes in access, save those to our table, change them again to whatever else you want, Save the table again, and now we can flip between them. Okay, basically it's setting up your own theme editor. So if you haven't watched last week's video on the VBA editor colors, go watch it now. I basically just show you how to set up, you know, the different color changes and stuff in the VBA editor itself. Now, before we get started, I'm going to give everybody a warning. Back up your data and make sure you've got a full backup of your PC as well. Windows backup right? A good image of your entire drive, because in order to do this, we need to read and write from the registry. And if you don't know what the registry is, I'm going to explain it in just a minute, but this is part of windows. And if something goes wrong and you mess up the registry, you could make your system not bootable. I'm just giving everybody the warning before you do this. All right. What I'm showing you should be perfectly safe, but as a disclaimer, you never know. So always make sure you've got a good backup of everything, your databases, all your data, and of course, Windows itself. And if you don't have a backup, and you don't, if you don't remember when the last time you made a full backup was, now is the time to go do it, okay? You'll thank me later. All right, so if you don't know what the registry is, it's basically a database that is stored in Windows, and it keeps settings for Windows itself and most of the other applications that you have on your system. They're all stored in this big database called the registry. How do you get to the registry? Well, you click on your start button in Windows. You type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, right? That's short for registry editor, right? You'll get the Windows security pop-up that shows, you know, you're going to have to run this as an administrator. Are you sure? Say yes. I can't show it to you easily on the screen here because it's, it bypasses my video recording software. But then you'll get this thing up. All right, this is the registry editor, and it might show up like this up top here, right? There's different groups. There's classes root, current user, local machine. There's all kinds of different stuff. I go over this in a lot more detail in my developer classes, but what you're looking for is under H key current user, right? Open them up with these little arrows over here. Okay. Then software, then Microsoft, then come on down to VBA and then 7.1 or whatever version you have installed on your machine, and then common. This is the registry key we're looking for right here, the, the folder that the keys are in. Okay, and over here are all the keys themselves. Now, I'm just showing this to you for demonstration purposes. We are not going to make the changes directly in the registry editor. This is just to show you where they are, what they look like. All right, there's four that we care about. There's code back colors, code four colors, font face and font height. Those are the only four we're gonna mess with. All right, you can play with these other ones if you want to, but do so at your own risk, okay? 
This is basically a list of the different colors that are specified in the VBA editor itself. You know, when you drop those little color boxes down, all these numbers represent one of those. Same thing with the four colors. All right, so we're not gonna change them here. We're gonna change them in access and then just save that setting to our database, okay? Same thing with the font face. That's pretty straightforward, right, and standard. And then font height, which is a number. We'll get to that in just a few minutes. Okay, but again, just showing you where this is. Don't mess with it in here. Don't, don't touch it inside the registry editor. In fact, you don't even have to open up the registry editor if you don't want to. Don't even come in here. All right, so let's close that. Let's go back to access. All right, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database you can grab off my website if you want to, but we don't even really need this today. So we're just gonna make a table and a form to save our VBA themes in, okay? So let's start with a table, create table design. This will be our VBA theme ID, our auto number. We'll give it a description, All right? Like light mode, dark mode, teaching mode, whatever you want, whatever mode you want, okay? Now, we need four fields to store the different registry key values. I'm gonna use the same names as they are in the uh, registry. So it's code back colors, that's a string, code four colors, we got font face, and then we have font height, which is stored as a number. So we'll make that a number here. Okay, save this as my VBA theme T table, primary key, sure. Okay, close that. Let's make a continuous form out of this. I'm gonna take my continuous blank right here, copy paste. We're gonna call this the VBA theme F. Let's open her up in design mode, right click design mode. Let's set the record source equal to the VBA theme T. Now we can add fields. I'm gonna grab all the fields. Let's click, shift click on the last one. And let's drag them all over. Just drop them down here in the form footer for now. Okay, up top, I'm gonna put the ID and the description and then we'll put the, the values for the keys down in the footer. Okay, so we're gonna do, um, let me, you, see, I only keep these around here for the format painting. So I'm gonna format paint over you. And then these are all fine. So I'm gonna grab this and go like this, 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 this. Okay, now I'm gonna delete these guys. I'm gonna slide the ID over here and get rid of your label. And it doesn't need to be quite that big. And then the same thing with the description. Description there. Change the label up top. And then we've got these guys down underneath. And we'll make these a little bit bigger. Okie dokie. All right, so back color, font face, and the font height doesn't need to be that big. It's only a number, so. Okay, all right. All right, so now we're gonna save this. And let's see what we got real quick. Come back out here, close it, open it. All right, and now we can set up a dark mode and a light mode. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put two buttons down here. One to get the settings from the registry and save it. And then another one to put the, the settings that we have in here back to the registry. That's going to involve some VBA code to read and write keys from the registry. And we will talk about that tomorrow in part two. So tune in tomorrow, same bad time, same bad channel. Or if you remember, where is it? Where's my slide? There it is. If you remember, you can watch it right now because I'm about to record it in just a few minutes. So that's going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow in part two. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more.
and YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90-minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. 
you'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.